Welcome to the Axioskeleton class uh, lab, anatomy and physiology student. We went through together on the bones of the skull in here and all the sutures. So we pick up from here to find the bony landmarks, what you are responsible for in your quiz and in the midterm. Okay, I moved the camera here. So finding the occipital bone, this is the occipital bone, that color uh, orange. And uh, you see the foramen magnum here at the inferior part. Lateral to the foramen magnum are the occipital condyles for the articulation with the first uh, crani uh, first cervical vertebrae vertebra the atlas you see also the jugular the jugular uh, foramen here is that if i take off the top part of the skull it will be like here oops uh, okay how about that this is the part Okay, so on the other side, on the inferior side, that is the part. Good. Let's check the frontal bone. That's the green bone, the frontal. And uh, you would see it at the superior, uh, supraorbital foramen. This is the orbit, basically the eye socket and above, in the midterm, you will see some holes in here, and they are the supra above the orbital, and they are holes for foramen for the vessels and nerves to move in and out. The next one is going to be the temporal bone. And on the temporal bone, uh, you have to find the zygomatic process. This is the process that's going to... Uh, fuse with the zygomatic bone. This is the process. Process means it's a sticking out bony part. You will find uh, posterior to it, the external acoustic meatus inside of the skull. You can find on the temporal bone, the internal acoustic meatus see that tiny one okay uh, you identify the mastoid process on the temporal bone and the last one is the carotid canal this is anterior to the jugular uh, foramen so this is the carotid canal this is the jugular foramen see Again, that is anterior to it is the carotid canal. Now, uh, let's go to the uh, sphenoid uh, bone. The sphenoid bone is the yellow one in here. And on the side, this is the bat shape uh, bone, contains the cella tersica, the turkey saddle. Here is this. It has the posterior and the anterior part of the turkey saddle and the, uh, the cella tersica. And the depression in here is a fossa, the hypophysial fossa, where the hypo, uh, hypophysis sits into it. We have anti, uh, lateral to the cella tersica. Uh, we find the two optic canals. Here is one of them. It's coming uh, here and there. And this is for letting the optic nerve in into the, uh, into the brain. The next one is going to be the ethmoid bone. On here, the ethmoid bone is red. You can see it in here, as well as... In the eye socket, you see it on the lateral, medial side of the eye socket, as well as inside of the nose. The cribriform plate is a plate 
in here it's a um, horizontal uh, bony structure with tiny holes in it these uh, cribriform uh, looks like kind of a sieve like structure so this is the cribriform plate all on both sides and contains the olfactory foramina the tiny holes where the uh, olfactory nerves are entering into the skull. In here, this is a sticking out part, and the sticking out part is the Christagalli. That's the comb of the rooster in Latin, and it's called Christagalli. Now, what else? And that's all the bony landmarks, what you need to know for your exam. That's all.